Okay, got a quick rundown on a GE High Efficiency non-agitator model. Uh, I typically am not a big fan of the non-agitator models, but as far as this one goes, this is my favorite, being that it's got a deep fill option. That's going to allow you to press that button, add three gallons of water at any time during the cycle if you forget an item. Or, you can hold it down before the cycle starts, Hit your start button and boom, 26 gallons of water in there. That's 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 a good. I mean, it, it. If you have the extra rinse press button pressed as well, you've got 26 gallons of water in the wash, 26 gallons of water in the rinse, and 26 gallons of water in the extra rinse. It may not be great if you're an eco-minded person, but the fact is that water is going to help get your clothes more clean, and that's what we all want out of a washing machine. Uh, digital display with a knob for your cycles. Lots of different cycles, uh, your basket clean, your sanitized cycle, jeans, heavy duty, bulky items, towels and sheets, whites, colors, casuals, delicates, active wear, that's your dry fit shirts, like your, uh, it, 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 you need a different wash cycle for those because if you don't, it kind of wears them out a lot more quickly and wears off that uh, like the fabric. Uh, your cold wash cycle, which I've said before, does help save water, I mean save money on your electricity because of your hot water heater. Uh, most washers now are engineered to wash just as well with cold water as they are with any other type. Speed wash cycle is going to speed it up because they do take a lot longer. This one is a 4.6 cubic foot capacity. That is large capacity, large enough for your king size bedding. I like that. Uh, wash several loads in here at once compared to your old style washers. It does come with the drain hose. It does not come with your hot and cold fill hoses, which you will need to purchase separately if yours are, you know, over four or five years old. I would recommend it. Uh, this is your impeller. High efficiency washers now use impellers rather than the tall stick agitator. This thing turns the opposite direction of the tub, so that's how it does agitate and spin your clothing around. So you do actually have some agitation. Stainless steel tub is going to be less abrasive on your fabrics, not going to wear them out as quickly. Uh, these little dimples that stick out gives you more surface area on the tub so it can extract more water when you're in your spin cycle. Clothes come out more dry, uh, cuts down on dry time, and once, once again saving money on your electricity on your dryer. Um, this has an 800 RPM spin speed, which is, the website says 700 RPMs, but the product specs say 800. Uh, 100 RPMs is not going to make or break you either way, but that, just know it is a high R RPM spin speed. Uh, you do have the stain removal guide, which is kind of nifty. You can press this button and choose what kind of stain you're getting out, and because it has a direct drive motor, then it knows which wash action to use, whether it's, you know, or just jerky. It, they've, they've done lots of product testing and figured out the best way to get out certain stains. Uh, it does have an auto soak feature which is nice because a lot of washers now don't have that soak. So this will soak up to two hours to help get it out those set in stains. Uh, GE is made in Louisville, Kentucky for the most part. Uh, not all of their parts are US made. But it's usually around 70 to 90 percent of their machines are US made parts, US labor. Um, this does have a recirculating pump as well which is going to really power that water down through your clothing and infuse them with your detergent. That helps out a lot. It does have a 10 year limited warranty. So you've got a one year full warranty on parts and labor through GE. Then the rest of the nine years are parts only on the direct drive motor. That tub is not included in that warranty. Uh, 14 wash cycles, large capacity, for the most part American made which is a rarity these days. Not a whole lot of brands do that. Um, short, short story, this is, a, this is a good washer if you're looking for a large capacity, non-agitator, high efficiency washing machine. I would, I would recommend it. Normally you can find this washer retailing anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars depending on the sale prices. Uh, Fourth of July and Black Friday, of course. Well, actually, it's Black November now, but those tend to be the best times to purchase appliances. This thing measures 44 inches in height, 27 inches in width, 27 inches 